my name is Samantha Rosenwald, and this is my show, Exquisite Corpse. So Exquisite Corpse actually is a parlor game that the Surrealists invented, and it's also a game that children play now the game, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, is a drawing game where people take turns adding different parts of the body. I was really inspired by this melding between surrealism and this childlike act. And I used that as a starting off point for the whole show. So this piece is called Invisible Hand. To me, this is a very male hand that's enormous, acting as this sort of sinister puppeteer of these dolls. The cutesy way that the women are depicted as puppets sort of references their lack of autonomy and they're subject to this master hand. Also, the term invisible hand was used to describe free market capitalism. Even though things aren't regulated, there's always going to be someone that wants to buy something and someone that's going to sell them something. There's an invisible hand behind this freedom. So the freedom is sort of an illusion. This piece is called Studio Visit, and it was actually the first piece I made for this show. It's based on very personal experiences of inviting a, an important collector or gallerist into your personal space and having them not only treat you rudely but also treat you in this very like creepy fetishizing way so the piece is sort of a revenge fantasy on behalf of the woman but then obviously the guy has to make it weird by seeking pleasure from the woman so it's this really tense almost god and adam moment of tension and eroticization of the female body. This work is called Crocodile Tears, and it was inspired not only by my ex-boyfriend, but the tradition of portraying Judith slaying Paul Fernandez, especially by female artists within the history of art. I love Artemisia Gentileschi, so that was a huge part, and I just wanted to participate in this lineage of portraying a strong female heroine defeating the evil Hall of Fairness. And I included a series of objects that not only is the head bleeding on and destroying, but they also have very specific, very personal meanings. Making this piece was extremely cathartic in remembering all these instances of pain and uh, rudeness and treating me with no respect. This mirror, the close-up side mirror, it's like a portal into me making this and struggling through all of these memories and all of these emotions. And I think that acts as like a keyhole. All of my pieces are talking about how the female body is a vessel or a sort of screen that becomes projected on from her surroundings. It's sort of just a sounding board for what the cultures around her want to see in her. And it can often manifest in like a surreal or a scary or haunted image of the female body.